All right, wonderful. Uh, welcome everyone to um, this session of short talks. Um, the first speaker is Pao, who's going to be talking about decouple R. Uh, take it away. And please hold your questions to the end, and then you can ask questions for all the speakers uh, once they're done. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So I'm Pao Adie Monpev. I'm a PhD student at Heidelberg University Hospital in the group of Saez Rodriguez. And yeah, today I'm, I will talk about Decoupler, a tool that we have developed that basically consists of a collection of computational methods that infer biological activities in omics data. So in many experimental designs, we have omics data coming from healthy and disease uh, patients. And one field's approach one can, could take is to uh, use statistical methods to make associations or predictions of the disease. And while this approach is valid, the problem with omics data is that they have high dimension, high dimensions, so it's it's hard to interpret. And also, we don't we might not have enough statistical power. So in our group, we have specialized in leveraging prior knowledge to extract biological signatures from this omics data, and then we use these signatures to make associations or predictions to disease. This uh, signature extraction lowers the dimensionality of the data, which increases its statistical power and makes interpretation easier. Uh, in the group, we fetch uh, prior knowledge from the OmniPath database. OmniPath is a meta resource of more than 100 uh, different primary sources that uh, we have developed in the past in the group. And it contains general biological uh, information such as ligand receptor interactions, functional annotations, gene regulatory networks, pathway networks, and so on. And all this data is available through the R bioconductor package, and it's also available as a Python package. Another key concept that we use in the group is footprint analysis. Uh, footprint is basically uh, the collection of downstream molecules of a given regulator. This regulator can be a pathway, a transcription factor, a kinase, or any biological entity that you can link to downstream um, uh, features. These links are defined by prior knowledge, and they can be coupled to a statistical method to summarize molecular readouts into activities, right? So. Here we have a very simple example. It's a small gene regulatory network where we have some transcription factors that target downstream genes with specific uh, connections, edges. And uh, as we can see, uh, we have different values for gene expression. And we observe that uh, NF kappa beta uh, seems to have more activities than the other transcription factors because its downstream genes seem to have uh, higher levels of expression while the others seem to show uh, lower levels of, of uh, expression. Therefore, they will have lower activity. In this case, for this very simple example, we use weighted sum, but obviously there are better statistical methods to uh, estimate these activities. Some of them are very well known by the bioconductor community, such as gene set enrichment analysis, GSBA, Viper, over-representation analysis, and here I, I, I was I forgot to mention AUCell also. Um, the problem with this, uh, the implementation of these methods is that each one of them uses a specific format, so it's um, a little bit annoying to switch uh, between methods in, in the same analysis. So following this idea, we decided to develop the coupler, which is a unified framework with uh, several footprint methods. Although other frameworks such as these already exist, uh, like Piano, uh, they are lacking uh, novel uh, footprint methods. Uh, and also inside the coupler, it's very easy to access to all the prior knowledge from Omnipath using uh, one-liners. And yeah, this package is available uh, in Bioconductor and also as a Python package. While we were developing the coupler, we were also wondering um, how good are these methods. So we decided to benchmark them using transcription factor perturbation experiments. In these experiments, a specific transcription factor was uh, either knocked out or overexpressed. 
so we know which a specific DF is, is affected. And using this data and all the methods inside the coupler, we estimate the transcription factor activities. And as prior knowledge, we use uh, the gene regulatory network, Dorothea, which is a network that uh, we have developed in the past in the group that gathers uh, TF target interactions following uh, different evidences of um, that are available. So once we have the coupler on the benchmark data set, we obtain uh, transition factor activities. And since we know which transition factors are perturbed, we can assess how good our methods are recovering these uh, perturbations, right? So after running the coupler through the benchmark data, the first thing we observed was that all these different methods, they uh, return similar activities, they are correlated, but we observed that they show differences in their predictive performance. Uh, we observed that simple linear models, univariate or multivariate, uh, seem to perform best, and also the consensus score of the methods. And just as an example, um, this is a study where we successfully used the coupler uh, to analyze this data set. Uh, it come, it, so the, in, in this um, uh, manuscript, we were working with um, transcriptomic samples coming from uh, liver from COVID-19 patients. Obviously we had controls, but from the COVID positive patients, we had two groups. Uh, ones that showed presence of the virus in the liver, PCR positive, and the other group that didn't show presence of the virus in the, in the liver. So using the coupler, we estimated pathway and transcription factor activities, and we observed that uh, there was a shift between healthy and PCR positive, and that pathways related to immune response, were, such as JAKSTAT, were active in PCR uh, patients, and that a uh, collection of transcription factors were changing progressively their activity from healthy to PCR positive. And moreover, this uh, TF signature was reproducible in other hepatic viruses, such as HCV and HIV in other independent data sets. So to sum up, uh, footprint analysis enables the summarization of omics data into interpre interpretable terms. The coupler allows to easily run any footprint method with any resource, and it can infer pathway, transcription factor, uh, kinase activities, and really any biological entity that can be linked to downstream uh, target features. Uh, finally, um, as an example, footprint analysis identified key transcription factors of hepatic sequel in COVID-19 patients. And uh, yeah, this is it. Thank you for your attention. And thank you for inviting me to this conference. And if you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to ask. Thanks. Thank you. Very nice talk. Uh, next up, we have Nikolaus. Uh, 